Then we have the checkout tab where you can enable the option to validate the shipping addresses before allowing the users to proceed with the order and an option to request the company name during the checkout process. Let's save these options. Finally, in the help tab, you'll find a button to read the plugin documentation and another one to request support if you need it. Now, keep in mind to make the plugin work properly, you should enter the correct info in all the products you will sell and ship. You can do this by going over to products, edit, and then in the product data tab, in the shipping section, you can just click here, make sure the product's weight and dimensions are entered, select the correct shipping class if there is one, enter the tariff number that is required for international shipping, you can find it by clicking here and the country of origin right here. Let's update. So now the product has all the information required to have the plugin working properly. Now let's see how to create the shipping for a specific order. Let's go to WooCommerce orders and I'm going to select this order right here. In this order, I have two items, okay? Both of these items have their weight and dimensions set up. If we scroll down, we're going to see this ship or shipping section. We're going to click here. We're going to get this new shipping called shipping one. We're going to click on it. First off, you can choose if you want to ship all of the products together or if you want to create this shipping for one of the products and then create another shipping for the other product. I'm just going to ship them all together. Here's the value of the order. Here we can choose the package type. If you remember, we enabled the option to combine boxes. So if we had two products or more in the same order, the plugin would calculate the dimensions of the box to ship the products together in just one box instead of having one box per product. You will find all the types options here. You can choose any of them. I'm just going to leave this one selected. You can also choose the content right here. You can edit the description. You can also choose if you want to see only those shipping services that include return label, insurance, and signature. I'm not going to choose any of these. And what I'm going to do next is click on choose service so that I can see a list of all the available services to ship this box. You will be able to see the price and the estimated delivery time for each service. You can pick the best option according to your needs. Let's choose this one and then just click on create shipment. You're going to get this message and click on create again. And now your shipment has been created. You can pay for it by clicking here on pay shipment, pay. And once this is paid, you will be able to track the shipping status right here and check all the information related to the shipping. And the customer that placed the order will also get an email when the shipment status changes if you configure this like we did in the shipping settings tab.